Hello and welcome to jeffbrown.tech. In this video post, I'm going to cover the recently updated Skype for Business network assessment tool. If you're not familiar with this tool, it will measure network performance for a voice call out to Skype online. And now it will also test network connectivity, making sure all the ports and protocols are open to the Skype for Business online IP addresses. I'm going to cover the changes in this new version along with some brief demos. First of all, the download no longer extracts the files to a directory of your choosing. It now installs under program files, as you can see here in my Windows Explorer. Uh, the important files to look out for are the usage word doc, which will contain additional how-to and some troubleshooting information. Uh, another important file is the networkassessmenttool.exe.config file. Let's take a look at that. First here in the config file is the relay IP, which will point you to the AnyCast IP address, which will get you to the closest Skype for Business Edge server wherever you are located. Uh, the next configurable item is the number of iterations. So by default, it is set at one, but you can increase this in order to make more calls over a period of time to get a more accurate representation of the network performance. Next are the results file path and the output file path. These are going to save the results of the test. This one for the network performance test and then this one for the connectivity test. Now previously it would save these files into the same location where the extracted files were and where the network assessment executable were. But now since it is saved out in program files these files are automatically going to be saved out to your app data local folder underneath your user account, as you can see here in my path. And as you can see, I've got a couple of examples here already. So that's something to, be, to look out for when you're running the tool. OK, let's take a look at a quick demo. Now I'm in here in PowerShell. I'm going to just run the network assessment tool.exe without any other parameters or command line arguments. When you do that, it will initiate and place the audio call out to Skype for Business Online for 17 seconds. And skipping to the end of the 17 seconds here, you can see the results of that. So our latency was here. Did we experience any packet loss, the jitter, and the packet reorder ratio? Now, if we run the results analyzer and point it to our performance result TSV file, it will do an analysis and tell us if we passed or failed these respective tests. So for my internal client here connecting out to the Microsoft Network Edge, everything passed. Uh, if my machine were at my network edge, I would have failed my jitter metric. Now, instead of running the network assessment without any parameters or command line arguments, if we add the slash connectivity check, we'll see the tool will go through and do some various connectivity checks out to Skype for Business Online, including uh, all the IPs, uh, TCP and UDP, and the major ports such as 443, 3478, 7980, etc. Now, we didn't see any output here, just basically wrote out to our connectivity results file. Now, if we go out to our folder and take a look at that text file, it's basically going to say the same thing. Everything completed successfully. Now, let's take a look at another option. If we add the verbose command line argument, we're going to see a lot more information here. You can see it testing every relay IP. TCP, UDP, and against all the ports needed for Skype for Business Online, which is a lot more useful, kind of lets you see the output a little bit better, and will give you a little bit more detail if that's what you're looking for. As we can see here, this one also completed successfully. And if we go and take a look at our text file now, it'll have the exact same output in it as well. Now, one thing to notice about this results file is that it is cumulative. 
So you can see here, this was my first test without the verbose, and right here below it is my second test where verification also completed successfully. So be careful when you're opening this file, make sure you go to the bottom of it to see the latest results. Now, just as an example, I reran this with a local Windows firewall rule blocking UDP port 3479. Uh, I did not run it with the verbose parameter because I wanted to see what the output would be. As you can see, it's going to show on each and every relay IP that UDP 3479 was blocked and that verifications failed. And if we go back out to our result file, as I mentioned before, it is cumulative, so we've got to go to the very bottom. It's going to show all these that failed on us. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.